Hi, my name is Kelvin. I'm a product marketing manager here on the Flutter team, and I've got five minutes to recap five of the most exciting things the Flutter team at Google is working on right now. And I brought along some friends to help. What do you mean it only takes you 10 minutes to do your hair? No, Khan, I said 10 seconds. 10 seconds? That's just crazy. What? That doesn't make any sense. And it takes me zero seconds. Guys, we're live. Hi there. OK, let's get started. We had to send Dash to flight school for this one because we've got some big updates landing in Flutter 3.22 and Dart 3.4. We won't dive into everything landing in Flutter 3.22 and Dart 3.4, so if you want to get into the nuts and bolts, check out the technical blog post on the Flutter Medium blog. First stop, WebAssembly, or WASM support, is coming to Flutter Web Apps. We've been collaborating with the WASM Working Group and the Chrome team to ensure that Flutter Web Apps can compile down to WebAssembly using the garbage collection feature that came to WASM last year. This change cuts the difference between frame rate performance for Flutter Web Apps and Flutter Mobile Apps in half. You'll see an up to 2x improvement in the rendering performance of your Flutter Web Apps today in the stable channel. And I know what you're thinking. This sounds amazing. But are all browsers WASM compatible? No. Not all browsers are ready for WebAssembly. So we also support compiling your JavaScript so your Flutter web app will automatically be built to support both JS browsers and WASM-capable browsers for the time being. Try it today. And now, for a new segment we're trying out. We're calling it... Guess, Guess that, that meme! All right, first meme. Give me a second to get into character. Did you get it? You can't jank due to shader compilation if there is no shader compilation. Which brings me to Impeller, the new rendering engine we graduated to the stable channel for iOS last year. Over the last 12 months, we've been working hard to continue improving Impeller. The results so far are super exciting. We're seeing big performance improvements for complex shapes like SVGs or Lottie animations, and up to 2x faster runtimes for blur effects on iOS. And with those strong performance wins on iOS, it's time to bring the same to Android. So we're excited to announce that Impeller for Android Vulkan-enabled devices is feature complete and is now available as an opt-in feature when building for Android. You can try it now in the stable channel behind this flag. This requires zero changes to your code, and folks who've tried it have seen a 30% faster frame rasterization rate. Oh, and PS, there's still shader compilation. It just happens at build time instead of runtime. You know what's better than writing your own code? Having your programming language help you write your code. We've been experimenting with Dart Macros, a new language feature that implements static metaprogramming, literally a program that writes programs. We've progressed to the point that we need data on how this new feature works with real apps. So we shipped a single macro designed to simplify JSON serialization. Here's an example. Instead of manually writing repetitive from JSON and to JSON methods for data classes like this one, you can now use a macro annotation, ergo, JSON codable in this case, above your class when you want to automatically generate the necessary serialization, deserialization code at compile time. There's no additional Dart file created or extra compile time step to do. The macro takes care of the details. And if you need to add an additional field later, you can just add it. Again, this is still an experiment, so give it a try in your own code and let us know how it goes. You can keep up with the latest at dart.dev slash go slash macros. Let's flap on over to see what Craig's been up to. Over to you, Craig. All right, All right folks, folks, it's, it's time, time for a little trivia. trivia. Which, Which of these popular, popular 2D casual, casual mobile, mobile games, games uses, uses Flutter? Flutter? Your options are A, Trivia Crack, B, Boom Beach, C, Squad Busters, and D, Clash Royale. You have five seconds to get your answers in. Time's up. If you guessed E, all of the above, you'd be correct. Thanks for playing, everyone. We'll see you next time. Some games like Trivia Crack write their entire game in Flutter, while other games like Clash Royale use Flutter for non-gaming UI like sign-up flows. Not all Flutter games' use cases are the same. Please do not at us. As you can tell, we like variety around here. It keeps us and hopefully you entertained. Just like a Flutter game, right? In all seriousness, We've seen incredible growth in Flutter's open gaming ecosystem thanks to contributors like Flame, a popular 2D game engine built using Flutter and Dart, and to community members like everyone that participated in our Global Gamers Challenge. We're committed to making it easier to get started with Flutter game development. 
So this year at I.O., we announced new packages in collaboration with the Flutter community, like the SoLoud Audio Engine, a new code lab to help you get started with Forge 2D, a 2D physics simulation along the lines of Box 2D, and a new guide to help with optimizing the loading speed of your Flutter web games. Head to flutter.dev games to check them out. Speaking of things that could make it easier to get started with games and a whole lot more, let's talk about AI. Whether you're prototyping with the Google AI Dart SDK or getting your AI features production ready with the Vertex AI for Firebase Dart SDK, single code-based development with Flutter means you only have to worry about one language and one framework's interactions, syntax, and output for each API, hopefully simplifying and speeding up your development flow without sacrificing quality. You can learn more from Ander and Eric's talk about practical applications with the Gemini API and my collab with the cloud team on bringing Flutter and the Vertex AI Agent Builder together. Or just head to flutter.dev slash AI. And before I let you go, there's a new Gemini hackathon that was just announced at IO with over $1 million worth of prizes. So if you could use an extra 100K or a souped out DeLorean supercar, head to ai.google.dev to grab your API key and get to building the coolest thing you can imagine with the Gemini API. We aren't the only ones that have been busy over the past year. As always, we're incredibly grateful for the Flutter community's contributions and support. And we want to assure you that this is just the beginning. We're focused on combining the developer efficiency Flutter offers through a single code base and features like Hot Reload with deep integrations across platforms we support to help you deliver fast, excellent, and high quality experiences so you never have to compromise quality for development velocity. We just sped over a few ways we're doing this for mobile and the web, but there's plenty more on the way that we can't wait to share with you. Until next time.